Hi, my name is Craig Hartley. Today we're going to be replacing the hard drive and the RAM in a Acer Aspire 1830T 68U118. First, we're going to shoot a reference. Uh, this is the unaltered laptop. Okay, looks like we were up around 52 to 55 seconds for the first musical boot tone, which isn't too bad for a Windows laptop. Uh, the machine comes with a 500 gig hard drive. I'm going to be replacing it with this uh, 256 gigabyte M4 SSD hard drive. The machine also crucial. comes with uh, 4 gigs of DDR3 RAM. I'm going to be replacing it with two 4 gig sticks of DDR3 RAM. What I'm going to be using to complete the project and do the cloning is this Apricorn software upgrade kit. Okay, I've got this uh, computer all loaded. I've got my uh, Windows updates loaded in here, all the programs I was going to load in, and I've defragged this computer. Everything is running perfectly, and uh, with a little bit of luck, uh, everything is going to work well. First thing I'm going to do is load the CD into the CD burner. This cord actually came with the software. It connects to the SSD and to the computer. Now I'm going to connect the uh, SSD and hopefully everything's going to work. Okay, let's get started it says. This very simple menu up here, uh, the drive I want to copy is the top drive. It's the bigger, almost 500 gig drive. Select, and I've, I said, now I'm saying next. Destination drive, next. There is one advanced option. If you're using a Windows 7 or if you're using a Vista machine, you need to go to advanced options and you need to click this 4K alignment. I see it's already clicked on here. It's right there. Apply changes. Close window. Next. All right, it says it's copying data. Hot Let's copy see about it. So I guess I'm hot copying here. There we go. Looks like it's moving right along. I've already got a 5% on the bar. Okay, just checking in at the halfway point. Uh, we're at 49% of the cloning finished. It is almost 27 minutes into the process. Okay, folks, we're up to 99% on this thing. It is almost 52 minutes into the cloning. Uh, okay, something has just popped up here. Auto expand, finish resizing. So it's got some other new step it's going through. Okay, the bar just jumped up to 66%. Whatever it says here, auto system reserved, open folder to view files in Windows Explorer. I'm just going to close that. I'm just going to close this Windows E. It says here, congratulations, your clone was completed successfully. Gives me the option of doing another copy, quitting, or details. I am just going to quit. It took less than an, than an hour. It's 54 minutes into it. I'm now going to unplug the SSD. I am going to shut down the computer. And our next step is going to be to actually install the RAM and the SD. The only tool I think I need for this project is a Phillips screwdriver. There are five standard screws on the back here. Nothing difficult about the screws, they all just back dried out. And bring the Acer in, 
And now we're going to pop open the back. Okay, for folks, I've got a confession to make. I've already installed the uh, 8 gigs of RAM into the Acer laptop. There are two little metallic hold downs, one on either side of each stick of RAM. If you just pull back those hold downs, the, the stick of RAM actually pops up by itself. As you see, it's popped up. You just pull out the old RAM. There is a slot on one edge. If you gently push down on the new, new sticks of RAM, it just snaps into position. Okay, okay, I now need to replace the uh, old hard drive with the new SS. I think there is just one Phillips screw on this thing. I'm going to find out. There, that worked out pretty good. Yeah, I pulled it straight back and then I kind of pulled up on the rear. There's a little tab. I should have realized there's a little plastic tab I could have pulled this thing up with. I spent a moment looking at this uh, old hard drive and uh, it looks like it's uh, there is a it's connected to a little bracket. Looks like there's one Okay, here's the SSD. All right. on this thing. Okay, I started the clock again. Remember before it was 55 seconds to the first musical tone. About 18 to 19 seconds. Okay, okay, folks, as I may have mentioned, I'm a photographer, and I'm using Photoshop CS5 64-bit. When I was testing earlier, this is before the upgrades, it took between 14 and 25 seconds for Photoshop CS5 to completely load. Now check the time. That took about four or five seconds this raw file to a high res uh, high resolution JPEG before this took from 11 to 15 seconds now let's see how long it takes to do this to do this big okay it took between about less than eight seconds I'd say about seven seven and a half seconds to do that up this is just an amazing speed increase using this SSD just blows the door off the old thing. This is almost up to my desktop speed.